Yo, folks, what's up, what's up? This is your boy DJ Troy in the building, man. Listen, salute to Golden State for having such a awesome season, for doing such a great, marvelous, magnificent job throughout the season. Yo, they did an awesome, awesome, awesome job. Okay? I don't care what nobody says. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, we are saluting and bigging up the new champion of the world. The world champion. The National Basketball Association champion. The NBA champion. And ladies and gentlemen, make some noise in your seat for Cleveland Claviers. All in. They won. They won. They won. Listen. It was one of the most epic games that I've ever seen in basketball. Okay. The leads between these two teams in a game seven was just crazy, man. They switched leads like over seven to 12 times, back and forth, back and forth. Nobody was giving up, nobody was giving in. Everybody was just going and going because everybody wanted to win, okay? Because it was that serious of a game, you know? Salute to Cleveland for doing such a awesome job in beating one of the best teams in the NBA. Man, it was a epic game. It was an epic game seven game, okay? I think, and I think we all could agree that this game is gonna go down as one of the best NBA finals. Can you imagine a team coming back from a 3-1 deficit to not only beat the best team in the NBA, but probably one of the greatest three-point shooters that the NBA has ever seen. Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors are ridiculously good, all right? But Cleveland, man, Cleveland all in. They went all in. They did what they needed to do to win this game, man. Okay, so salute to Cleveland for doing such a great job in beating the Warriors. Okay, now we're going to talk about the players. Salute to LeBron James, man. Listen, I'm not going to lie, okay? I'll be honest with you people, okay? Because you know your boy DJ Troy do not lie to you. If I had my choice, I was going to like to see the Toronto Raptors and, okay, and OKC play in this game. But, you know, I didn't have my choice, you know. Whoever won, won. But listen, okay, but listen. LeBron James did his thing, okay. The brother was absolutely serious with it, okay? 41-41, my wife told me, okay? Two games back-to-back -back 41, okay? Then at the end of this game seven tonight, he scored a tremendous, listen, LeBron James did his thing. And let's not forget about Kyrie Irving, okay? The thing, my biggest criticism about Kyrie Irving is that he is too humble, okay? I do not want him to be humble. I want him to stand up and be like, yo, I'm the man, okay? I am the man, like 50 Cent say, I am the man, okay? Because Kyrie Irving is the man, okay? And I don't think that Cleveland was gonna win tonight without that epic, you know, closing game three-pointer that he made, okay? Without that three-pointer, I don't think that Cleveland was going to be able to win the championship, okay? So salute to Kyrie Irving, salute to LeBron James, and finally, man, salute to Cleveland, Ohio. My God, 52 years 
okay, 52 years was the last time they won an NBA championship or even come close, 52 years. Do you know how, old, how long 52 years is? Do you know how long that is? My God, you know what I'm saying? So salute to Cleveland for doing such a epic job, you know what I mean? Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Now, we're gonna talk about the criticisms, okay? A lot of people believe that if, you know, Draymond Green didn't get suspended, you know what I'm saying? Cleveland wasn't going to be able to win. I call it total BS, okay? All right? It is what it is, all right? You know, Green was playing rough. Green did a lot of wrong within the game, and they had to suspend him. Suspend him. It is what it is, okay? Cleveland came and did their thing. They beat the Warriors, okay? And everybody know that regardless of who is playing or who is not playing, the Warriors is winning, okay? So, you know, Steph Curry could have not been playing. Clay Thomas could have not been playing. However, the game could have been. Regardless of what, the Warriors are one of these teams that fights. They are Warriors. They are true to their names, okay? So, they did not give Cleveland that game. They didn't, you know, they did not give anybody any game. Okay, they played their heart out, but Cleveland was able to persevere and came through and did an excellent job by winning. Okay, so congratulations to all parties involved. Congratulations to the coach. Congratulations to LeBron James, to the Cleveland family, all in. Listen, man, congratulations to everybody. Okay, it was just an epic game seven. I wish everybody the best, you know what I'm saying, in Cleveland, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, okay, I know there's a lot of other states that are wait, waiting for their turn, but tonight we all join Cleveland in celebrating their wonderful and epic and just glorious victory, all right, usually I end my videos with saying every year, like after the championship, like, yo, these people are going on vacation and I got to get up tomorrow and do my regular nine to five. It's still true, okay? I ain't going on vacation tomorrow. I'm getting up and going and working for, you know, the little chump change that I do work for, which I'm thankful for. I'm not knocking my job, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, Tonight, I do feel, you know, a little, a little connection, a greater connection to the champions. I feel like LeBron James served as an inspiration to all the people out there who are fighting for a particular goal, whether it might be, you know, your business, whether it might be something that you want to attain. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you just have to fight. You just have to continue pushing continue persevering, continue going until you get your goals. Okay, so take home lesson, never give up. Take home lesson, if you fight hard enough, if you work hard enough, if you push hard enough, you could achieve anything and everything that you want. Okay, don't let your circumstances, don't let the surrounding situation, don't let what you see determine what is it that you could achieve, all right? Know that as long as you put in that work, as long as you keep it moving, give yourself that energy, give your stay focused, whatever it is that you want to achieve this life, in this life, you can, all right? And Cleveland has showed us after 52 years, they were able to pull it together, okay? I don't care what nobody says, the Warriors are an exceptional team, and they did not give Cleveland any games, okay? Cleveland earned all the games, okay? They won fair and square, and that's my final thought, okay? But take home lesson for all the people that's watching my video. Whatever it is that you want to achieve, you can achieve it if you just put your mind to it. All right, this is your boy, DJ Troy. I'm out. Take care of yourself. Get a good night's rest. I'm getting up tomorrow and start 
doing what I got to do to it. Peace.